in the SSG18 trial, we randomized patients who had high risk this uh, into two arms. One was one year of imatinib, and the other one was at imatinib for three years uh, after study entry. Uh, the primary endpoint was recurrence-free survival. Um, the results of the study were pretty clear. Um, patients who were assigned to the three-year group, they had uh, clearly uh, better recurrence-free survival as compared to the one-year group. The p-value was uh, highly significant, and the hazard ratio was 0.46. Um, the, perhaps the key finding in the study was though the very high overall uh, survival figures, although overall survival was the secondary endpoint in the study. Uh, but those were striking. Um, in the three-year group, uh, five-year overall survival was as high as 92%. And uh, I consider it a very high figure, remembering that this patient had high risk risk. And in historical data, the risk of recurrence is greater than 50%, or at least 50%. And perhaps 50% or so of these patients would have died within the first five years after surgery, if the treatment had been surgery alone. So 92% is, in my mind, very high. It's very good. Um, that probably also reflects um, our strategy when we put these patients back on hematomic when the disease came back. Um, and uh, one of the key findings was that overall survival was better in the three-year group as compared to the one-year group. And that was also statistically significant.